Hey everyone, check this out. I picked up that Mackie MCU control surface uh, last month and I'm in the process of rebuilding it. It doesn't have USB on the back, so in order to use it, I need MIDI cables. And I need a converter, MIDI to USB, because I don't want to take up the MIDI that's currently being used by this guy right here. I went to Amazon and it looks like a regular name brand or what is recommended by Amazon. A USB to MIDI converter runs about $15 to $22, which is not bad. Out of curiosity, out of curiosity, I went to the Ebays. I was like, hey man, maybe there's one that's used. Somebody didn't need it. Somebody didn't want it. And that's where I ran across this. Yeah. It's a USB in-out MIDI interface cable converter to PC music keyboard adapter cord, which I assume means it's a USB to MIDI adapter. And it's 689 shipped. 689 shipped from the US too. They're very proud of that is the first image with a three-year warranty. Now, um, going to be kind of hard to pass this up. What do they have to say about it? Well, it does 16 in, 16 out, and that's what I would expect from MIDI. Uh, no AC adapter is needed. It supports Windows and OS X, which we have neither. We're going to be using this with Debian 10. And is there a plug-in USB socket? Okay, this should just work um, or explode. And by the way, it is brand new. They're very proud of that, and it will save you money. Possibly. So... Through the magic of nonlinear video editing, I'm going to put that order in and I should be right back with the device in hand. And here it is. Is it nicely packed? Maybe? Yeah. Not bad. Considering what? Six bucks? It even comes with a piece of paper. Neat. Let's open it up and see exactly what we have, though. Inside, wow, I haven't seen a sparkly USB cable in a decade, but, 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 it, uh, latest version, built-in driver, LEDs, and uh, plug it in, cut it on, don't need it. Okay. Hey, a twist eye. For safety or convenience. Maybe. I don't know. Not a fan of twist eyes, but we can throw that away later. Let's take a look. Do we have five in, five out? Hey, yep, that is the correct number of pins. That's nice. And they are labeled in. Let's hope the other one's labeled out. Good on that. Good on that. And we do have this, which has three LEDs, one for in, one for out, and a mysterious one with nothing on the back, so you know it won't catch on fire, or who to blame when it does. Let's plug it up. Here we have the back of the X Touch Compat. It does have USB MIDI, but I use the traditional cables, so this would be good for testing. Now, one question I do have is are they going to work with the traditional in out, or maybe it's in in to out out? I don't know. I kind of just want to try it the wrong way because. Well, I don't have much faith in the product to work the correct way. You know what? I don't want it to blow up. No, let's do it the right way. Let's use out in and in out. Okay. Now, maybe it works. Maybe we'll get some signal through it. Let's find out. Let's apply power. It's in. Let it calibrate and okay, we do have signal going out. What about hey, neat? So it is picking up the touch and movement. We might be in business now that we have the USB to MIDI adapter plugged into the control surface and into the computer. We need to make it visible. We're going to do that with also MIDI bridge. Easiest, easiest way to do that. You want to make sure you export your hardware ports. I'm using Cadence. You can also do this via the command line with A2J mitted space dash E. I'm just going to hit start and we should be good to go. Let's take a look at 
Katia. Okay, now that worked. We have MIDI through port zero. That's a standard, but we do have the CH354s up at the top. That looks like our exported hardware, but I have launched a door. So let's hook it up to those. We'll do that by going into preferences. And we will select control surface. Generic MIDI. This should work with Mackie too, but next touch compat. Not that hot with Mackie support. I think we'll use the CH345. That should be the exported hardware. I do believe. Don't need to reset. Um, okay, let's make sure that's on in and out. That is connected correctly. Moment of truth. Let's launch our door and see if this is going to work. Hopefully it does. Hopefully it doesn't fry anything. That'd be nice. And hey, look at that. Let's go over the mixer. Um, hey, that's working. We're moving up and moving down the feeders. And we can, yeah, it's showing signal coming in and out. So it is doing its things. Can we try, um, let me program that. There we go. All right. Mutes. That is working. Slide that, uh, trim pot. That's working. Cool. Oh, we got to do this. Um, there ghost faders. This is the primary reason to buy a control surface with motorized faders is doing this. I mean, you like to pretend that, oh, this will help with productivity. No, it's pretty much this hours on end and uh, occasionally you use it when you're doing live mixing. That's about it. Cool. Glad it's working. Seems like we got a decent piece of kit, question mark. And there we have it. Check it out, man. It is the USB MIDI eBay challenge. And it's quite a dashing fashion accessory, don't you think? Mm, maybe not, but what it is, is 100% Linux compatible and it's $6. So unless this thing just goes running off, kicking down my back door and screeching into the night and eats the neighbor's cat, it's a good deal. I mean, if this thing dies in six months, eh, maybe not, but six bucks from eBay shipped. There will be a link in the description from the exact seller. I don't know if it means anything, because if you do a search on eBay, you're going to find like 50 of these, and they're all the same. They just have that MIDI in, out, music note, blank on the back where, you know, like the real things are supposed to go. But I'll link to the seller that I bought it from, and shipping is included if you do need one of these. And hey, that's neat. That's kind of brilliant. I'm glad it worked. And I'm going to be using it. I did plug it into Mr. Mackey. I've had this for a few days now. And the parts of Mr. Mackey that I currently have working are responding appropriately. So it works with generic MIDI and uh, Mackey mode. And I don't see any reason why it shouldn't work with your MIDI keyboards or anything like that. Good on that. Good on that. Um, I like being surprised occasionally. So, uh, do want to thank all the beautiful party patrons they make all of this possible you want to check them out bam check that out right there it's patreon.com forward slash linux gamecast that's how we finance our nonsense we don't uh have ads on our web zone or anything like that or we don't do commercials during our shows because we're edgy like that we're a bunch of hipsters that's what we are yeah okay beautiful people i'm out see you next time dine a fire